I'm going to show you what rods and reels you should be using at certain levels. Big thanks to Lila Fonzo. She says, can you do a video about setup suggestions per couple levels? Yes, I can. And that's what I'm here to, to do today. Okay. And before we start, this is all personal opinion. You know, a lot of other people might say, okay, well, this rod is better or this reel goes with this rod better. But this is what got me from level one to level 40. So... You know, if you don't like my rods or reels, then I am sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know there's a million other rods and reels you can choose from. But again, this is what got me from level 1 to 40. Okay, so from level 1 to 15-ish, you want to try to get the Express Heavy Rod and the Premium Stick. So we got the Heavy right here, all right? You've got 11 kilogram load capacity. And you got to remember, it is not the best load capacity in the world. But this is also your first rod, okay? So when you get this rod, you're probably going only going to have maybe up to Corey unlocked or maybe Volkov. This rod can do any of these lakes or rivers right here. Any of them. So you don't have to worry about these huge moss of fish trying to rip your reel and rod apart. You know, it can happen to Corey Lake. You can hook them to some big ones, but I never had an issue. You know, yes, it took a lot longer to fight the fish, but it did not destroy any of my equipment. But either besides those big fish at Cory, it works for any other water body. Like, yes, Volkov, you have big fish there too. But the premium and heavy will do the job. You're just going to have to fight a little longer. But again, this is your first rod. So you cannot expect the best of the best. <laughs> so what reel should I get with this? Well, you can go with basically any reel you want. I would recommend just using the spark, the reel the game gives you at the beginning, and try to use that as long as you can because eventually we'll get into the linear rod in a second here but you're going to want either the saber 60 or you're going to want the mosquito rod you can put it on the heavy it will work just fine as well um i use the heavy and i also use the premium stick as well the premium has about 1.1 kilograms more of load capacity um it is a very reliable rod for the very first rod that i had I've used the heavy and the premium stick, trolling Cory and Volkov, and the only issue I had is it took a long time to bring the fish in, but again, that's what your first rod, any first rod is going to do for you, but this is the one that I had, the premium and the heavy, and they worked marvelous. For the fishing line, you're going to have to remember, okay, you do not want to go past your load capacity. I do sometimes, but I know what I'm doing. You can go over your load capacity with the line, but you just got to know what you're doing. But I wouldn't recommend it unless you're an expert and you really, really know what you're doing. But I would stick just at 12.1 kilograms or go below, like, say, 11 kilogram line. I was going to buy some line, but I didn't have it. And the line's very expensive. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I would keep the line maybe at 12 kilograms ish. You can probably go to 13, 14. It probably wouldn't do anything. But just be careful if you do go over load capacity with your line. It can mess up your rod <laughs> or reel. So just be careful on that. But like if you went even to 15 kilograms load capacity in your line, I don't think it's going to do anything. But again, there's still a chance, right? If you go over your load capacity with your line. So yeah, just be careful. If you want to be on the safe side, just make sure your line is around 12 kilograms. For your leader with the fishing premium or the heavy I would recommend probably sticking around with the 12 to 15 kilogram fluocarbon line. Um, you can go ahead and use the 19 kilograms, 35 kilograms if you like. But I'm just trying to um, get the leader size right with the rest of the setup. So I would recommend using, you know, 12, 13, 14, 15 kilogram leaders with this setup. It will do just fine. Just don't hook onto a big ass pike because, yeah, that will break your line. But <laughs> anyways, that's what I would do for my first ever setup is the premium rod, right? Premium stick, S70H, and the heavy. So if you go to the premium stick, like I said, 12.1 kilogram low capacity, you want to make sure your line is just there. If you go to the heavy, you have 11 kilogram low capacity to try to make your line or stick around there. All right. So that's a setup. For the first ever setup that you buy okay remember you're going to want to save up for the saber 60 or the mosquito reel probably more on the saber 60 side because when i bought the mosquito i didn't know what i was doing i just <laughs> found it was good good uh max drag and all that i had the silver for it so i went ahead and bought it but again it is not the worst reel ever i did you know have better luck with that reel because it did reel in faster than the cheaper ones but again i recommend saber but that's the first setup 
let's and that's for probably around level 1 to 15 ish you can go up to level 20 with the setup you know but i would recommend probably switching setups if you can't afford it from level probably around 15 to 17 ish but you this setup can definitely go to level 20. okay so from level 16 17 even 20 and up i would recommend using the linear rod now this is the one that i bought after the premium and heavy and I loved it. I have about three to four hundred hours on this rod, um, and reel, and it did me marvelous. Um, I reeled in big fish. Yes, it took longer, a little bit longer, but it, it was a really smooth all in. You know, the, the fish. Some fish did give me some trouble, but not a lot of them. This is a decent setup. You know, it'll still haul in that big game that you want. Um, yeah, all know it is a decent setup. So this is the Siberia Linear S88XH rod, okay? So this one has a load capacity of 20.1 kilograms, okay? So I went ahead and bought line for this one, for this setup. I do have an 18 kilogram load, um, 18 kilogram line with 20.1 kilogram load capacity rod. This is probably the perfect setup that you want with this rod. You can go ahead, like I said, on the other, on the premium heavy, you can go over to say to like maybe 25 kilogram load, I mean line, it probably won't do anything, but again, I would, I would probably stick around 21, 22, 19, 18 kilogram line just to be on the safe side. Because the more kilogram your line is, and the more it goes above your load capacity, the more of a chance that was going to happen to you real, all right? So make sure it's around 20.1 kilograms and more under. But you can do over if you want just a tiny bit not much so yeah this is a perfect setup right here for this one i would recommend the 19 kilogram leader right here um you probably won't have access to the 60 centimeter length but you can message me in game and i will help you out all right if you do need a 60 centimeter leader i will help you out just my name's in top left of the corner there give me a message and uh or shoot me a message and i'll help you out there all right and so the reel now, this reel is the first ever reel that I bought. I've used this on a premium and heavy. That's why I don't really want you to waste money on a reel because when you're a really low player, silver is extremely hard to get. So by the time you save up for the heavy or you buy a second heavy or a premium, you're going to have no silver, right? You're not going to have a reel to go with that rod. You're going to use this. You can be using the spark, right? Or if you go ahead and buy a, uh, say, I don't know, a three, 4,000 silver reel or 2,000 silver reel. That's going to be a crap reel, you know, because that's not going to last you long in the game. So I would recommend you, you know, just buy one heavy or one premium stick until you can get at least another linear because you don't want to waste silver on all of that crap, right? Because once you get to level over 20, then, you know, you're going to have a tough time with the um, heavy and the premium stick so i would go I'd, I'd just buy one that is it and then try for your second rod i'd try to save it for the linear and either the mosquito or the saber 60. so the mosquito 2 i have really good luck with it is an 8.6 kilogram reel um it is a lot better than the spark i'll tell you that much because <laughs> When I was saving up for this, I believe this is like 900-ish silver, 976 silver. So I was just using the spark with my premium and heavy sticks <laughs> just so that I can have enough silver to buy this bad boy right here. And then uh, once I got this reel, then I started getting more levels. I started getting more XP just because the fish started getting a little bit easier to haul in or reel in. So you can use the Mosquito 2 3000, okay? Or... If you go to the tackle store here, what's the tackle store? Tackle store, there you are. You can type in, go to Saber, Saber 60 or right here. So it is a little bit, about 200 silver more expensive than the Mosquito, but you also get more kilograms in your max drags. See the Mosquito, what was it? 8.5 kilograms. This one has 9.9 .9 kilogram. So most 90% of people, when they start up in this game, they go for the Saber 60s because it is probably one of the best reels you can get in the game for a lower end player. Um, no one told me that a long time ago when I bought my Mosquito. <laughs> I didn't learn about the Saber 60 and probably until a good two weeks after that I bought the Mosquito. But again, you can go with the Mosquito if you want. It is a good reel as well. 
but I would probably recommend buying the Sabre 60s because you just get a little bit more of a kilogram. So it just takes a little bit less of the fish that's going to fight, right? You're going to haul it in a little bit easier. So yeah, that's what I would get. that Those two reels with the linear rod. So yeah, very good setup right here from level 20 all the way probably from level 22, level 25, 26. You know, good five, six levels with this bad boy. It will uh, it'll do you some good. Okay, so for the finale, all right? This is the finale. This is the model one, okay? So now from level probably around 25 to level 27-ish, you sure definitely have enough for one setup at least for an HSV and a model one. You're going to need three HSVs at the end of the day, and you're going to need three model ones at the end of the day. <laughs> um, you can you can definitely buy the Super Duties. More people prefer the Super Duties in model one. I do not. Um, I've hauled in huge. I've hauled in like 50, ki no, 30 kilogram Russian sturgeons. I know they're not the biggest in the world, but they put up a fight. I can haul those in with this rod easily. Um, not easily, but... Um, it's a really good rod. Like I can, I can haul in some pretty, pretty big fish without any fight at all. You know, sturgeons they fight like hell. So uh, yeah, this this rod can definitely haul in sturgeon. Um, it can haul in like trophy lake trout. It can haul in trophy pike, no problem. Um, trophy rainbows, trophy cory chars. It is a really, really good rod. This rod, I believe, is like 2,800 silver. It is a lot. You're going to have to start saving up. Um, the HSV is almost like 3,000 silver. So you're going to have to save up for that as well. So all in all, it's about, well, probably about 6,500 silver for the setup combined with everything. So um, yeah, it's expensive, but you can do it. I believe you. You can do it. All right. If I can do it, you can do it. So this rod of the Model 1 S98H has a load capacity. 35.4 kilograms okay so i put on a 36 kilogram line you know that's about only six more kilograms 0.6 kilograms more than load capacity which is absolutely fine that is not nothing's going to happen with that all right it's only if you go like maybe 5 10 15 20 above it then you're going to have issues but yeah this is the perfect line that you want with this rod all right you can use other line as well. It doesn't have to be snake power braid. You can use other colors, other brands, as long as it's like 36, around 36 kilograms, all right? You can probably go up to 40 if you want, but that's question it. But if you want to try and be um, ballsy and you want to do it, you can, but I do not recommend it. Um, for the fluocarbon with this, um, well, the, the leader with this setup is the fluocarbon 35 kilograms, all right? You're going to always want to make sure, unless you're specifically going for lower game, or lower end fish, I would honestly always use 35 kilograms with 60 centimeter length every single time. Uh, especially if you're trolling, say, Tunguska, if you're trolling Akutuba, um, they have a, even Cory Lake, right? Because they got pike. And if you got a pike on and you have a lower leader than this, it's going to snap it. But this makes sure that nothing's going to snap. Fly. Even a blue tag pike, you're going to haul that in with this leader, all right? This leader can easily do with the setup. And yeah, always make sure you have 35 kilograms with 60 centimeter length, okay? You can use, again, 19 kilograms. It all depends what you're fishing for, right? If you're fishing for like, I don't know, some small, small fish that don't weigh a lot, you know, it depends. You can use eight kilograms, nine kilograms, you know, just if you know that big fish aren't really gonna bite, try using the lower possible, like the lower kilograms, because the even, even though it's fluocarbon, you know, that doesn't really mean anything. If you go to like even like 35, 50, 75, even though it says fluocarbon, it says invisible in water, if you do get thicker leader size, even with fluocarbon, the fish have a chance of seeing it and the bite rate might not be as good as you want it because the higher kilogram you go up, the thicker the leader is going to be, fluor or not, the fish might see it and scare them away. So if you, so the fish you're fishing for, if you know that not really any big fish are going to bite the hook or the, yeah, hooks, I would use probably around, say, 8 kilogram liter size, 7 kilograms. The lower you go, the more chance of a better bite rate. But at the end of the day, the more lower you go, if you got a big fish on, it's probably going to snap that right off, right? So you just got to realize, right, is there a chance that a big pike can bite? Is there a chance that this fish can bite? You just all going to put it together, right? Just think what, um, think what, what would be best. So, yeah, that's what this setup. This is the perfect combination you want. So, 
you know, the caliber is size 8,000. You got 15.4 kilogram max drag. If you go to Volkov Workshop, you can upgrade this to, I believe, 17.5 kilograms. So you can even upgrade it even more. So yeah, this is the perfect setup that you want, all right? And this, I would say from level 26, 27 and up, because this is a very pricey setup. And you always want to make sure you have at least two HSVs or two Model 1s. Um, or not Model 1s, it's Fortunas. I'll, I'll get into Fortunas in a second. But you want to make sure you have two Fortunas before you get to Amber. So if we're talking about that, we might as well jump into the Fortuna rods, okay? You want to make sure you have two Fortuna cart rods. You know what? I say you have to. It depends. If, you, if you're not really into cart fishing, you don't plan to do much cart fishing, maybe you do want to put all your silver into getting all three Model 1s and three HSVs. You know, that might be your goal, okay? But if you plan on fishing a lot of carp, and you and you do love spin fishing as well, and you don't know, should I do Fortuna or should I do Model 1? Because they're both very pricey. You know, you got to decide what you're going to do more first. You're right, you know? So you got to realize, are you going to carp fish more? Or are you going to, you know, troll? If you're going to spin, cast, you're going to do that more. So you got to realize, you know, stick to one for now because they are very expensive. You can't just go buy a Fortuna rod, which is 3,000 silver, then go buy a Mono wine, which is 3,000 silver, because you're not going to have that kind of silver, especially not at level 25-ish, you know, level 26, 27. You're not going to have that. It, it Silver does not start getting easier until you hit level 30 and up, in my opinion, in the ways, or if you reach the sea. But for the Fortuna card rod, you want to make sure you have at least two. If you are into card fishing, you want to have two Fortuna card 360XH and two HSVs. You will need a third setup at some point, but at least have two when you enter Amber, okay? So, with the Fortuna cart rod, this is at 99.9999999 million nine percent of people in this game choose the Siberia Fortuna cart 360XH, okay? So, I'm using this, the caliber as well. I do have one with the Vanga right here. Um, the Vanga we're not going to talk about because... Um, it is like <laughs> 33,000 silver for this reel. So yeah, I'm not going to talk about this, but HSV works completely fine until you're like level 35, level 34 ish. Then you can start saving up for your Vangas. But, um, I use 60 kilograms, you know, you can copy me cause I know this is safe. So you can copy me, but just be careful. All right. I would still recommend putting line or equipping line around 40 kilograms, 39 kilograms, all right, even 45. I use 60 kilograms just because I have my reasons for it, and it never broke. I've been using this for months with the setup, and it hasn't broken my my setup, and that's for a reason. I just know what I'm doing. <laughs> you, you have to know what you're doing if you put your line way over the capacity, and yeah, it works for me. It doesn't break, so if you do want to copy me with this, you can because I know it won't break on you. Um, just don't try to, um, you know, go off just by yourself and pick random line up, throw random equipment on your stuff, because if your equipment breaks and you have no silver, good luck. <laughs> There's nothing worse when you get higher up in your levels and everything breaks and you have no silver. What are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? You're stuck. You're basically, all you can do, you might restart your account. So you've got to remember, you know, don't try to mess around much. If you're not familiar with something, go on YouTube. Go on r4.info. There's going to be or Discord. There's someone out there that will help you with the setup because silver is extremely hard in this game to get. So you got to be careful what you put on your setup. But this is my setup right here. You know, put the HSV there. There you go. This is what I'd recommend. Um, again, you put around 40 kilograms. 45 would work. But you can copy me if you like. Um, yeah. So with the weights, I use the most expensive weight in the game. You do not need this because it is very pricey. Um, you can go ahead and just use the 40 grams. These are very cheap. Or you can use these ones. These are very cheap as well. The flat sinker is all up to you. You do not need the most expensive weight in the game. It is very handy and helpful. But again, if you can't afford it, don't definitely don't buy it. Um, see, it's a few cages and all that. Uh, yeah, for the hooks, I use extra large. But it all depends. I'm not going to get into it because it all depends what you're fishing for. I can't say, okay, go ahead and use small. Because it all depends on what you're fishing for. So I'm not going to get into that. Um... But yeah, those are the setups I would recommend, all right? So overview, okay, or review is more like it. We got level 1 to around 15-ish. When I say 15-ish, 14, 15, 16, 17-ish, around there. You can use the Heavy Express spinning or on a premium stick with the spark 
the, the game the one that the game gives you when you first start your account or start the game it is it, it does suck but it is possible because i did it but if you do want to go ahead and just strictly just save for the saber 60 or the mosquito and put it on your premium or heavy stick go ahead and do that that will work just fine as well because it doesn't really matter because then now you have the real and all you need is just the, the linear rod now so it saves you from one buying the other one right so you go definitely go ahead and buy the um, mosquito or the saber 60 onto your um, express heavy or your premium stick so yeah that's the first setup second one we got the linear i'd recommend from level probably 18 17 18 ish level 20 all the way up to level 25 or level 26 with the linear rod with the um mosquito or the saber 60. so what's good with that is so the saber 60 you can use for a lot of levels so if you can grind a saber 60 right off the bat and use it at the beginning that's going to last you probably all the way to level one level five all the way to level um 20 23 ish 24 25 all the way to level 26. so yeah definitely good to buy the saber 60 or the mosquito because it will go on both these setups right here you can go ahead somehow i don't know how you're going to have it but if you do have an hsv you can put it on the linear i have used the hsv on the linear before it works perfectly fine the hsv is not too big for it you, it, it will work um but yeah you can do that if you like so remember mosquito saber 60 on both these setups or just you know just have the spark and just grind it'll be more of a fight because the fish will fight a lot more with the spark especially but if you have the time and energy for it and you want to grind out with the spark and just strictly save silver you can do that as well so final setup we have the model one for casting and spinning you know model one with the hsv is the perfect combination 99.9% .9 people use it the other point one used the super duty uh, I'm not gonna get in super duty because I don't like it um, the casting version like the casting rod because these are spinning rods right the casting rod is where you put bait casters and all that I like the super duty with the casting rod but if you want to get super duty for casting with a bait cast you can because I do like it I do have one of them or did I or did I give it away because I did buy it with the gold yeah I probably gave it away because I did buy it with gold <laughs> I like giving stuff away um, but yeah, so you go ahead and use that. Uh, so also for the bottom feeding, you got your Fortuna rods. You got your Fortuna Carp 360XH. You want to have this by level, uh, let's see, 26-ish again, level 27-ish to all the way level 40 and up. Um, because you can, you know, get the, then you got to get the Vanga, then you got to get the heavier rods that can handle the Vanga, which is like 20 K, but I'm not going to get into that because the players that are going for that, they already know better. They already know what they're going for. They know the game that well, they know what works and what doesn't work. So there's no point getting into that. So that's next after the model one of Fortuna is, is like the Vanga and all the 20,000 silver rods and all that. But again, I'm not going to get into that. But yeah, you want to save up for me. It's a lot of grind, especially the end. Like the I'm not gonna say ender game, like the end game, but towards the end game, it is a little more of a grind, even though the silver is easier to get, just because you need three Fortuna rods, right? Which is like each one's almost three thousand silver. So it's nine thousand silver for th three Fortuna rods. Okay, let's put get, get the calculator out here. Okay, let's get the calculator out here. So we got around. This is just um I'm not doing exact numbers here, just a rough guess. We got nine thousand silver. You're gonna want three HSVs, which is another probably nine thousand silver. Okay, and remember, go to Volkov. Volkov is always the cheapest place to get everything you need. All right, don't buy anything anywhere else unless you absolutely have to. So that's another nine thousand. So now we got three HSVs. We got the three Fortunas, and now we need three Model Ones, which is another nine thousand silver. <laughs> so all in all to get three fortunas um three model ones with the three hsvs you're looking about roughly around twenty seven thousand silver okay so that's why the the end ish game is kind of more difficult because you need to buy all of this and plus, that's not talking line you also need line for these and each line is like 250 silver each right so you need three of them because you, you can say if you are uh, cart fishing Right now, and the line's on your Model 1, you can just switch the line from your Model 1 over to your Fortuna. You don't need to buy six lines for each specific rod. Just transfer it over. It is cheaper that way. But yeah, so pro after the line cost, you're probably looking close to around 27,800 silver. 27,700. So all in all, it's very grindy, but that's what you have to do. Unfortunately, <laughs> it is a grind. We all did it. So if you're feeling you know tired, you feel like you can't do it anymore, this game's too much of a grind, just remember that everyone else did it. 
and especially me. I was at Cory Lake, and all my stuff broke. I had no silver. There's, I had exactly zero silver in my bank account, okay? I had the Mosquito Reel with only one premium stick. My heavy rod broke. This is another one I bought a long time ago, okay? Because my other one broke. I had one premium stick with 60, over 60% 60 worn Mosquito Reel. So a one kilogram fish would take me for a run. I, oh man, I probably spent over 600 hours, five, 600 hours on Cory Lake. And half of that time was with one rod and one 60% worn reel that took about 10 minutes reel and one kilogram fish. At that point, I thought to myself, you know what? Let's quit the game. I'm done with this. You know, what am I supposed to do? I got this far and I can't do anything else in the game. What am I supposed to do? I have zero silver. I had to go to the admin, admin shop. I had to get the free lures there and use them because I had literally zero silver. So I got from just about quitting the game, I had no equipment, no silver, all my stuff was worn out, I was using only one rod, and at the end of the day, I'm level 40, I have everything I need right now, because I didn't give up. Always remember, do not give up. Good things will come to you if you wait. <laughs> Good things will come if you wait. So that's what happens. So yeah, I hope that this helps you. I really do, hope it really does help you guys out. And if it did, please remember to smash the thumbs up button, hit the bloody hell out of that subscribe button, and I'll see all of you on the very next episode of Russian Fishing Fork. Take care.